The purpose of this screencast is to show you how to use dictation or speech to text on your Mac laptop, Mac OS X 10.9. So um, the first thing we need to do is make sure dictation is enabled. So you can click on the gears in system uh, for system preferences or search system preferences. So I'm going to click here. Now I can put in speech. See right there, and then you see it's highlighted here, so it's intuitive. It looks like a microphone, so I'm going to double click that. I need to make sure it's on, and you can see that it's actually mine is on, and it's using the internal microphone, and it's hearing me because you can see that going up and down. That means it's working. If you had a, a separate microphone um, plugged in, you might want to choose. It would show up here, and then you could choose the right mode. If I turn this off, you can see... Um, Actually, it looks like it's still using the internal microphone, but it wouldn't work with the uh, on off the other inside the application. Anyways, we're going to put this on. We're going to leave the enhanced dictation on. Now, you can choose English if the, if you want, or you could add a language. Say, for instance, um, Spanish or another. Um, language, whatever that may be, there are, are plenty to choose from, and I think most of, you know, you have uh, Portuguese, and you have a choice, Brazilian Portuguese or Portu Portugal Portuguese, and then when we go down here to Spanish, you have Mexico Spanish, Spain Spanish, or United States Spanish, so you would pick what's most appropriate uh, for your student or your child, and um, we're just going to leave it for United States now. And then it says the shortcut key is the FN key, so which is the function key, which is in the far lower left-hand corner of your keyboard. So that's all in working condition. That's the way it should be. Um, and we're going to just X out of that. Remember, this works in Mac um, products, so it doesn't work in Word. It works in pages, ex uh, not Excel, pages, numbers, and um, Keynote. So I'm going to, and you know, if you wanted to, you could do it, uh, I would do something in pages and then I would copy and paste it into another application, whatever that may, whatever else that may be onto a web page or whatever. So that's perfectly acceptable. So I'm going to go into pages, I'm going to say new document, blank, double click, open. Now you're going to go to the, it said go to edit. So you're going to go to edit. Now it's not speech. It's start dictation, and then the microphone will come up on the right side of the screen. Or, but I'm not going to press the FN key, which you also could do. See where it says FN, FN? That means that's the keyboard shortcut. But since you can't see me press the keyboard, I'm just going to do it this way. So start dictation, and you see the microphone comes up. And now it is recording everything that I say. But you see there's no punctuation, period. So make sure that you include your punctuation, period. You see that there is a bit of a delay, so do not get anxious, period. The words will come, period. Question mark. Exclamation point. Backslash. Forward slash dollar sign. So you see you've got lots of features to choose from here, period. To turn it off, period, you just go back up to the edit or you press FN, FN or simply press done here on the screen, period. I'm going to press done. Now what I also like to do is run the spell check. So um, edit, spelling and grammar, show spelling and grammar check, and then there's the keyboard shortcut, command, colon, command, shift, colon. So there's no spelling and grammar errors, which is nice. but. I also am just going to go back and have it actually read for me. Can you see the microphone comes up and now it is recording everything that I say, but you see there's no punctuation. So make sure that you include your punctuation. 
you see that there is a bit of a delay so do not get anxious. The words will come, dot question bang backslash slash dollar so you see you've got lots of features choose from here. To turn it off, you just go back up to the edit for you press F and F in 4 simply press done here on the screen. So actually, I don't know if I left out the word cho to choose or if it didn't hear me say to choose. So I want to put two here. So I'm going to put T-O. Now it says you've got lots of features to choose from. So it's not perfect, but it's really pretty good. So make sure that you go back and double check the work of the computer. Well, that's how you get now I can take this and I can say command C on the keyboard did you see up here watch the edit right here Command C that means it copied it and I wouldn't cut it I would copy it and then you could put it into something else like if actually the preferred thing is word you could put it into a word document paste command V paste because you can see here oh actually I do have dictation so I can dictate in word as well so pretty cool. So you could use Word or Pages. Um, okay, that's how that's done.